Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to your brave new life. So excited to be here on this really important time. Um, this is such an important time for humanity. And we have been literally waiting for this moment, counting down all of us all around the world. And I wanted to just um, invite everyone to tune in, settle in, get grounded. We're actually going to be um, on quite a journey together for the next two hours. So just to let everyone know, welcome Oracle Girl and Christian Northrup. We are going to help everybody birth their brave new life. Um, so thank you for showing up. The first hour is going to be a little bit of a conversation and then Oracle Girl Jacqueline will lead us in a purification for about 30 minutes. We'll have a conversation and then we'll move into our brave new life Zoom room um, where we can host about a thousand of you where we'll actually have one of our community conversations where we're going to talk and dive a little bit deeper into how we're rewriting these contracts for these, these knives. So Sovereign, yesterday was a really potent day. You have roots in Australia. You were talking about that. I want to start and open up this session with what's really happening for me on the other side of the world. But what is this portal that just opened up? Yay. I'll put a, an image overlay here of the place that we're talking about. Um, Uluru, a huge, huge rock um, that, to the best of my awareness, um, that's rather thorough, is, um, is from outer space. And ancient traditions kept alive and ancient song lines having been maintained have led to a ceremony that needed to take place during the conjunction on the solar eclipse um, uh, on the uh, on the uh, solstice there when it was um, 732 um, Uluru time and the purpose of the ceremony and the request that was sent out to me uh, also in our network but it, it went all around the world it was so beautiful was to have everybody tune in with our mother and to send our love force, our heart pulse of love to that place through simple visualization and attuning ourselves to that. And the elders of the um, Central Desert people had expressed that we would require a million human hearts and beings to send that love pulse to activate what they um, articulate as the magic box. And wow, that was to open up the rainbow bridge and the connection between the rainbow serpents of that beautiful red soil that is curled and coiled through all the song lines across the entire um, landmass that so-called Australia is. And I have good news. The magic box opened up and details to that effect will likely not go public because this is very intimate and very sacred and protected by lineages of thousands of years and um, what is really beautiful is that I found from a image and um, I'm just going to pop it up here to let everybody simmer in the beauty of what got activated um, in that place through everybody's shared participation. Mm. That's a beautiful teaser. Yay. Yay. So humanity oh. has participated in a beautiful activation process. And that stirs our collective experience as a human um, family belonging to this earth um, onto a beautiful course. 
and mm. it's just lovely that we all had an opportunity to tune in to be there in the dream time and to simply be human and belonging to to this beautiful earth that that is that we are made of literally so yes thank you sovereign welcome home everyone so christian it's perfect to have you here being you know obgyn the spiritual midwife of all midwives but you you know in a conversation not too long ago you said we're planetary doulas birthing the new humanity the new earth i would love for you to share with your understanding of this you know solstice time but also this particular time on the planet this particular solstice and what you feel is so relevant as we open up this meditation this purification today this particular time has been foretold for many 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 decades and we've all been in a kind of cocoon here but really went in and began to create the cocoon in march when this so-called thing went around the planet and so many people now have been in this cocoon but the the day of the finally we hatched already but the day of finally having our wings be spread and dried so we are able to take off is now. And so much has happened for people. It's kind of like uh, we've all been pieces of carbon under pressure and heat made into diamonds. And I can tell you that all of our, uh, all of our doubts, all of our fears, all of our everything has come up to be purified, which is it was Jacqueline's work has been helping the entire planet do that. But there have been those of us who have just stood here, just stood here attending the birth. I've had so many people in my life, everyone listening has, who have, um, who have decided to go to the other side to transform out of their bodies. So many people in such grief about the breakdown of the old, but that is exactly what happens when you're in labor. There comes a time just before you get ready to push when almost every mother, not everyone, but a lot like me say, oh man, I'm done. I can, I'm out of here. I can't do this and I'm leaving. Except that you've got this baby that's coming through and a force has taken over your body that is so much bigger than your intellect and there's nothing to do except go deeply within and surrender. And that's what people have been doing this entire year. And the degree to which you have held on to your left hemisphere, um, uh, the doctors will take care of this, someone will save me, uh, that there's, there's, um, there's, there must be a drug I can take, there must be a surgery that I can have, there must be an anesthesia that I can get. No, 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 that has all gone away. And finally you're there like our mother earth. You are finally there, you and this birthing canal that is so much bigger than your intellect, the intellect that has been hijacked for centuries. And finally you're back to what your body knows the mother connected with the mother. And Sovereign, when you talked about that, that on Uluru, with that star thing was like an umbilical cord um, back to who we really are as humans. So we are these very earthy human species connected to the divine. We are suddenly realizing we have enormous power, enormous power as divine beings. And we're literally, birthing that human divinity into our physical vessels. And it's for many, every bit as hard as a rocky labor where you just say, I am out of here, but there's nowhere to go. And here we are. So beautiful. I always love the birth metaphors. <laughs> but this is the perfect time for them. 
Jacqueline, I know um, last week you did a purification kind of in preparation for this on clearing these negative, you know, beings, energies, and Chris just referenced us being this human race. And you've um, talked before, and I know maybe you can share a little bit before we go into this purification, a little bit about your work. We've had so many people in the Brave New Life community tuning into your work, as Chris just referenced. But um, the, what these species are, what's happening to our species, this transmutation that we're in, and what we're going to really be doing as we shed these slave contracts with this purification. I would love to introduce you, welcome you, and have you describe a little bit before we go into the actual purification. And I'll just unmute you one second. Go ahead. No problem. Our human species is going through a biological upgrade, and that upgrade is being initiated from the inside out by our own purity and the unique instructions that we have inside us. And when we biologically upgrade, we are then able to raise our frequency and raise the frequency of the planet to a bandwidth that is over and above what I call the slave self. And it's the slave self that is uh, locked into those contracts and the frequencies that those contracts are on, including the people who uh, put them here on Earth, which includes the negative high frequency beings um, that Imani was just referring to in my last broadcast. So we are actually rewriting the future through that biological upgrade. We are turning over and we are deleting and revoking those slave contracts. And we are birthing the new embodied human. And that is a force of nature combined with the power of dreaming. For those of you in the Wednesday and Saturday reboot group, the recent track called Dreaming and the Power of the Force of Nature went into that. And you, you are leading this new human revolution on Earth where all those contracts will be dissolved and we will birth this new world society, which is nothing to do with what we're being told and everything to do with what we want to see for new earth because this planet belongs to us. Love it. So I know some people are tuning in. Um, we should be streaming just to get, just to respond to some of the people there on Earth Heroes TV. If anybody's having issues, at Jacqueline's YouTube or Christiane's Facebook page. We have three places we're streaming. So Sovereign, if you can just put in the comments um, the links to the earthheroestv.com so that makes sure everybody's tuning as we prepare for this meditation. Um, we will move into that in a few minutes. So I just wanna make sure that everybody is on. This is being live streamed and you will be able to access it at Jacqueline's website, which is oraclegirl.org and at earthheroestv.com. So don't stress as we move into birth. Sometimes that anxiety comes up, right, Chris? People get a little panicky, a little anxiety. So we're gonna let the anxiety go. We're all here, it's all good. We are doing this together. Um, we're gonna lead into the meditation and then Jacqueline, you're gonna actually talk a little bit after two and then we'll put some information um, about the Zoom room. So. Don't worry, everyone. We're we're here. We're holding space, and we're we're doing this together. And I love, you know, Chris, that what you referenced the other day that we know as women when we even have just another woman in the room witnessing, just holding space, even in silence, um, that changes the birth. And so there are so many of you here. We're we're at thousands now witnessing the birth of humanity. So you are not alone. We are here together and we are doing this. We are, we are birthing our brave new lives. So with that, Jacqueline, I'm going to hand it over to you and um, we'll make sure we'll bring you just on the screen and we'll make sure everything's working behind the scenes <laughs> so that everybody can be present with us. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Just relaxing. and listening to my voice. The moment is 
now. You are on the positive future timeline. And you are birthing new earth. Receiving this purification from your own source connection, your own personal instructions, connected with your own self-healing ability. For the takeover of this planet by you and everyone on the new frequency, of the new embodied human. Just remaining aware of your body and your sense of self. Your body knows what to do. You are global citizens. You decide what happens on this planet, nobody else. You have been elected by your own source connection to represent the principles that you hold dear, that speak to you and that you know are true for yourself. and the benefit of all humanity. There are no leaders, there are only guardians of the future. And power sharing. Healthy independence in connection with all beings. is the future. Receiving this purification from your own source connection of the settings that you have ready to switch on now. Ensuring that you are completely aligned with the force of nature. that you constantly act and are resonating in the bandwidth out of the right to choose. Upholding at all times freedom of speech. Each one of us possesses that spark of infinity and in that all beings are equal.
who possess that spark. We claim this earth in our own name. Upholding no harm. A future of peace. And the ability of every global citizen to live in the way that they wish. Receiving this purification from the settings within your own source connection for clarity and seeing through all attempts to divert you into unnecessary actions, beliefs and opinions so that you stay on course with always claiming your own space and your right to be sovereign over your own body and your own life. Receiving this purification for any fear or self-doubt, mental confusion that comes up during this process, understanding that it is simply what is not you purifying through you. No need to change it. Standing firm and rooted in what you know and who you are. In total strength, focus and relaxation, the truth is the truth. going deeper. Plugging in to the earth. Embodying all frequencies in the new bandwidth, through the interconnections of nature and all beings. Purified by your source connection. In this space, nothing can touch you and nothing ever changes. You are free. Remembering that at this frequency, every action is the right action.
All you need to do is steer and push your action further, quicker, stronger, so that more and more of who you are is seen. Your frequency will do the rest. Understanding that when others try to impose, they are at their moment of peak weakness. This is the sign to claim in your material reality. Another area of your life where you wish to flourish even more. Assert yourself. And expand your sphere of action and influence out of that channel of energy. Look where others claim something in the name of something else and see that as the green light for you to decide how you wish to claim it instead. Then it cannot be taken. And receiving this purification for all action and resistance on the same level as any aggressor or agent of coercion. Making this planet the way you wish it to be. The force of nature and the power of dreaming will dominate material reality. There is no other future. And any questions are already decided. Just staying with your body and the feeling of your sense of self. Remaining focused. <clears throat> Moving with my words. Noticing what happens while I speak. And remembering that I am just the part of you which already 
purifies, knows how to do that automatically. And that automatically moves into the future along the right pathway for you. If things come up, it's stuff that was there, that was controlling you, that has now been flushed out and is no longer needed by you. Don't even witness it. Just keep on listening. And I'm not putting anything into you or taking anything out. I don't need to. Your source connection does exactly what it needs to do all of the time to everything and anyone around it. Nobody can and influence make you, you have have some being at all times. It is an unbroken continuity and the only contract that you will ever have, which is with your own being. There's only a positive timeline now, but what does that mean? It means nature's world order not any other type of world order. And nature has its own way. Nature can be trusted. And when we fully align with nature, because we've purified the slave self, nature then bestows on us great power and abundance because we are fit to use it. We dream, we create, we make things happen and enjoy. We work together as independent sovereigns healthily authoring a new future. The positive timeline has a form each moment. It's the life that you experience, both individually and collectively. The two are connected. And that positive timeline can either go quicker or slower. And in fact, it does both all of the time. It speeds up and it slows down for a little and then it gets stronger again. It pulses in and out. There's an ebb and a flow. And you will have times when you feel strongly carried along and urged to act and take things further. And other times where it feels in you that it is time to take a breather. Then there is nothing to do. It is nature resting. Nature urges you with its force from the inside out into movement, through movement, into non-movement and on again. You can trust it, go with it. And in those moments where you feel that fierceness and that rawness, push just like in labor, deliver the baby and make the new world happen in that moment that you're in in the way that you know it needs to be, with reference to the people around you and the situation you're practically involved in. That's your job. You don't need to have any huge grand projects for the future. It is moment by moment ensuring that the delivery occurs correctly and completely, safely and healthily of that beautiful new child. And whether that timeline, that positive timeline, where we move beyond this current period of frequency deletion of that slave self bandwidth, whether that is sooner or later, is entirely in our hands. It is about the degree to which we push when it is time to push and to the degree that we rest deeply when it is time to rest. It is a sinking with our own essential nature as communicated through our body by nature. And because we are purifiers, 
even though sometimes the slave self will be mixed in there as well. The slave self needs to come on the journey so that it can be purified out. So don't be afraid to listen to and connect with your body. Your body is where the messaging is. High frequency action in the bandwidth of the new embodied human rewrites the future and it accelerates human form into the full upgrade of all of reality and even other human beings who are still asleep. Meanwhile, at the same time on this planet, we also have some who are operating at other frequencies, denser or heavier frequencies. Some of those beings are on the negative future timeline. So we have two timelines in our reality, but you are only on one timeline. And that is the positive one. The rest is sorting itself out. You will witness and you will see the negative future timeline around you, but you are not on it. So it is a coexistence of form where you on that high frequency, positive future, are able to navigate and move through both types of reality, but you are following a different current and you are authoring a different type of reality which is slowly overwriting the other one. That's why there's only the positive future. Action at the frequency of the slave self is not helpful. And there are some beings who only act on the frequency of the slave self, and it's quite plain to see, because they uphold the actions of harm while saying or representing themselves as something else. And those who resist at the level of the aggression and coercion that we see, they also are acting on that same slave self frequency. They have their role. It is not for us to judge. It is that force and that power play in that area of life that actually will help to dismantle some of the physical materializations of the negative timeline that some people are on. It is not for you to focus on. You are focusing on what you have and your sovereignty. Those people will focus on what is their path and theirs to do. Contradiction can coexist. It's no problem. Nature upholds con- contradiction and still flows in the direction that it does, and it resolves everything. There is nothing to fear. You are your own authority. And on the new high frequency, wavelengths, listening to yourself and being your own sovereign being means you are already connected with all beings. You can quite easily coexist with everyone and stay on your own course. This is in contrast with someone who disconnects from everyone and all of reality and tries to fight it out on their own in disconnection. 
That is a type of aloneness at the level of the slave self, where everybody else is wrong and only that one person is right. You know how to spot that. That's their path. You have your path. Even on the negative future timeline, what we are seeing is not possible to take hold. It will self-destruct. On the positive future timeline, there is no negative future, but there are painful and uncomfortable experiences which we don't like. And we also get to see others experiencing the negative future timeline. So sometimes at the peak of the materialization of the positive future timeline, you may witness extreme happenings, suffering and pain of others. And in those situations, you will be ready. Nobody likes discomfort. Nobody wants pain. And we all know it isn't necessary. But birth can be very painful. And all we do is we hold the hand of the mother and we hold the space. Encourage gently at peak moments and allow each being to find out that they can deliver the reality of their own choice. The rest will show itself in the way that it needs to be in terms of the overall picture which will come to pass for all beings in one space at one frequency. It's okay not to know. You are in your peak power when you do not know, because then that force of nature just takes over and you choose out of what is directly there with you in that moment, in that material context. And you dream of the very best outcome there could be and you try to make that happen. That is the new embodied human. It's not about knowledge or information. It's about deep mystery, connection that you already have and that is a live wire creating for you every moment, through you, with you, as you, because of you. It's so fresh and clear, simple and bright, there only gets to be what you put out into the world. That's it. So simple. And even fear, when you fall into it and identify for a while, you are still safe. You are on that future positive timeline and that identity that has fallen into the fear will simply get engulfed by the roar of your own current. You will overwrite it and delete even that. You are not your fear-based identities and you are not fear. You never have been, you never are, and you never will be. Those things can come up and they will purify through you. So even if you fall overboard from your own boat from time to time, the boat will still be waiting and you will climb back in again. No problem. This future 
is now. You have more freedom than you ever had at any point in the past. You are more alive and more present than you ever have been. And that is only going to grow and grow and grow. Everybody is going to be forced into direct reality. And you are already functioning there. So you are ahead, leading the way for others who are following quickly behind you more and more and more. As the frequency rises, millions will wake up because of everything that you have been doing and everything that we are, because of everything that they are as well, because they are simply following what is in them at this time to do and to be. The settings are within each human already. All we have to do is enjoy both the ups and the downs of our own role on this great stage of humanity and the new story, the new chapter that is the new show in town. Others seek to take your power because you are the powerful ones. They seek to determine how you should live your lives because so many on this earth have forgotten to determine that themselves and given their power to others to do that. The frequency no longer allows this. It only upholds choice. Sovereign being choice. The more you choose, the more you author out of your practical context, according to what your body is telling you, the quicker the positive future timeline will take hold, regardless of the fallout. And remember that often when we strike a spade in the earth in order to dig a hole, we break open the surface and all sorts of things are revealed beneath the surface. But then we pull out what is in the way so that that seed that will be planted and that is ready to grow can be simply placed in position, covered over and then nurtured into full life above the surface. that regrowth and that repopulation of a new, more highly evolved biological life form on this planet is far into delivery now. We are in the last stages of the birthing of a whole new reality, which has slowly been being built up without anyone noticing. That is why the carbon copy of it on that denser frequency has come up too, because as the power rises, it brings up both realities at the same time. And then at the last minute, as the negative future timeline breaks down for those who are on it, then all is revealed and the one reality is in place, everyone is on it. And peace is restored. Just Being still now.
and letting the purification do its work. And I will bring you back when we are done. Slowly coming down. Remaining aware of your body and your sense of self. And handing back to Imani, who will take us on into the next section. Thank you, Jacqueline. So many people tuning in. I know that some people were having a hard time finding us, but I know that 
just to assure everyone the recording will be on your website. Yes. And Earth Heroes TV. I think there was some on your YouTube channel sitting there waiting. So we will, birth sometimes has challenges. So, but thank you for, you know, doulaing us into this beautiful new earth. I'm gonna hand it over to you, Chris. You've been tuning into Jacqueline's work to just, if there's anything that you wanna say that you feel inspired or to ask Jacqueline as we close out this hour, we actually only have five minutes and we're moving into the Zoom room. And Christiane, you'll be joining us. Renette Sinem will be joining us. Um, so we have five minutes more with you, Jacqueline. Okay. Uh, let me unmute you. Okay, good. There's something you said, Jacqueline, that I found so incredibly important. And that is that when someone is coercing you or forcing you, they are at the peak of their weakness. Yes. This is when we rise. This is when I was just talking with a with a mother and we were talking about her birth earlier yesterday. And she said, the midwife gave me a spoonful of honey and said, if you don't push this baby out in the next 30 minutes, we are going to have to go to the hospital. And she said, resources from inside her came roaring forward and she pushed that baby out. Yes, yes. That, that moment when you said they are at the peak of their weakness, up is down, down is up, to understand that they have no power over us. And it reminded me of something that I heard years ago about a circle of women together and uh, way, 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 way back, probably before women had the right to vote. And they sat in their power, just sat in their power so that the men who were coming to enslave them or whatever were, were just turned back. We forget that that is weakness. Yes. And, and I was so struck that that is weakness. And mm -hmm. as we begin to, this, this power that comes through the uterus, I remember the very first time I ever saw a, a cesarean from twins and the uterus is huge. And suddenly it goes back to this, this muscle and the surgeon who was adorable, I loved him, he said, the uterus is an organ to be respected. Yes, and incredible power. The incredible power. And that's what we are remembering. Yes. Remembering, bringing those pieces back. And you have empowered us with that bit of knowledge. The minute somebody comes up to you with their coercion, that's when you stand in choice and and providence moves in at that moment, like the woman who said, if you don't push this baby out in 30 minutes, we're going to the hospital and whoo. So I would like everyone to understand this from this moment forward now into the new earth. You almost can, there's no fear anymore and you welcome those oppressors as you know that your own birthing energy will simply create a path for you forward right they are showing you every single place where you need to make the decision about how something needs to be so that then the universe steps in behind you through you as the divine instrument and then claims that space and makes reality the way that it needs to be. So wherever there is contestation, that is your moment and your power spot where you are then being given the opportunity to decide the future for all beings. That's what you're here for. And the universe will never make that decision for you because you are free and you are the ones who decide. Absolutely, Jacqueline, this is, 
been so powerful and we have so much amazing feedback coming in for both of you. Thank you so much. The collaborations with you have been extraordinary. We're going to um, share this wide as you are. And again, oraclegirl.org is where you can find it. We're going to move into our Zoom room. And I've put the link and maybe Sovereign, you can put it up again. And this is really going to be focusing on what you just said, Jacqueline, creating this proclamation of what we do want. What yes. are we birthing from that place of consciousness? And really, what does it look like to end these slave contracts in these parts of us that are, are, are dying to be reborn? So if you're interested in speaking with us and joining us in this reclamation, we invite you to join us with a Zoom link. If you're on our mailing list at bravenewlives.com, you will have had it. I know many of you are looking for a third party to save you. We did send out the links. We did send out the Zoom. So we invite you, the first thousand people, to get in there. And we need to get in there because we need to make sure we have room to get in there. <laughs> um, but thank you both again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. See you all soon. Much love.